Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is the second part of the Cumulative Test 20A, the review. We're going to start over on 15. Um, it's not going to let me... Why? Okay, so let me see if it will... I don't know if it's going to let me erase. Oh, good gravy. Let's go back that way. See if it'll let me erase what I put on there before. It may not. Uh, okay, so, sorry. Just working some technical stuff out. I'm going to take this over here and I'm going to start over. So, here, I'll just cross this out. 0.6m plus 1.5 equals 4.8. And this is a two-step problem. First step is addition or subtraction. We're trying to get rid of the term that does not have the variable. So, we're going to get rid of this term. We're going to hold on to this. That goes away. We have to do that to the other side of the equals. And I get 3.3. .3. And then my second step is to multiply or divide. So I'm going to divide by 0.6. And I get m is equal to 5.5. Okay, let me go ahead and change my m. Colors here, we'll do 16 again as a two step problem. So, my first step is addition or subtraction. I'm going to get rid of the term that does not have x in it, so I need to do the opposite. This comes down, this goes away, this comes down, and uh, 18 plus 6 is 24. Then, I'm going to do my second step, which is multiply or divide. Um, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And what I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other side of the equal sign. Um, so this goes away. My x comes down. My equals comes down. I have 24 times 3 over 1 times 2. 24 times 3. So I have 72 over 2, which is 36. Okay, so let's simplify this. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27, minus the square root of 49 is 7, plus, now this is multiplied here. It's almost as if there were parentheses. So this is going to be 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So this we're going to have to do before we do anything else. So... Um, plus 5 times 16 is 80. Now that I have addition and subtraction, I can go left to right. So 27 minus 7 is 20, plus 80 is 100. All right, I'm going to write this one um, vertically. I think it makes more sense, at least to me. So what I'm doing is I'm adding 8 inches here. I've just brought this down here. So I get 17 inches, 2 feet, and 3 yards. And I know that there are 12 inches and 1 foot. So I'm going to take 12 inches off of this and make it, oops, make it 5. Make this 3 feet and 3 yards. Okay. And then I know that there are 3 feet and 1 yard. So I'm going to take this away. Let me pull this over here. I still have my 5 inches. I don't have any feet. And I have 4 yards. Okay, let's change colors here. All right, the first thing I'm going to need to do here is to distribute. So I have 2x plus 3x plus 3 times 2. 2x plus 3x plus 6. I'm going to combine my like terms. 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay. Uh, and then the last problem here, let me go ahead and multiply this. Negative times a negative gives me positive 20 minus uh, 3 times 2 gives me negative. Since I put my minus here, I don't have to attach it to the 3. So 3 times 2 is negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6 over negative 2. So 
I have a subtraction problem on the top, so I'm going to keep change, change. This becomes positive. This becomes negative, which makes it 20 minus 6 is 14 positive because 20 is larger. And then the whole thing is negative because a positive divided by a negative is negative. Please let me know if you have any questions.